we are very excited to present today esteemed bassist Yoris Tape, who is a musician who's well known throughout the world, especially in very prominent jazz cities such as New York. He has performed with Benny Golson, Sonny Fortune, Rashid Ali, Billy Hart, and Randy Brecker. <laughs> practice room. I still have some posters that I have to uh, put on the wall. This is one of them. So this might be good here in, in, the, in the gray wall. So what do you think? Is that a good spot? <laughs> so here's another shot of Rashid Ali on a gig that we did together. I was standing right there. Um, he's no longer alive but he taught me really a lot about music and um, the way how you uh, tell a story on the bass. And um, it made me really find my own personal voice on the bass. So that's why he was really important to me. Also, uh, you can't get closer to Coltrane than through him. Because that's how he always told me, uh, like, uh, if Coltrane would be alive, he would be his drummer. Well, if Rashid Ali would be alive, I would still be his bass player. That was like a marriage between us. Because I'm a lefty, um, I'm left-handed, so I need a, uh, I cannot play any bass that I find when I travel. So I need to um, bring my own, and uh, which is a drag in these times with the airports. Um, but then they throw a lot with all the luggage, so I bought this really cheap Chinese bass. They adjust the um, the bass bar here is on this side instead of the other side, and the sound post is on on this side now, instead of here. So they have to open it and, and glue it back together and it takes it like a day or two to change it. So um, that's it, it sounds okay. trip to Russia, which oh. was disastrous, because yeah, yeah. both, he had a really strong bass case from uh, uh, polyester, and I don't know how they did it, the whole case was decapitated it was in two pieces, which was incredible, it's not possible to do, well they managed it, yeah. and the bass was broken too. wonderful students there uh, doing the master program at the conservatory. Um, I'm the director of the conservatory. So they all got here in Groningen just uh, in September. And 
Now they got a gig with the director already. We didn't know how long we were going to make a solo. And he, you know, he's from Brazil, he likes to play long solos. <laughs> I wanted him to end it and I started to play less and less notes. I don't know even know if he noticed that, but um, I started to play less and less notes, kind of indicating like, okay, your time is over, brother. <laughs> I want to teach them to, um, first of all, to be better musicians, to, to master their instruments better, but also, most importantly, is to, uh, to know how to make the right choices. Because when you're on stage and you're improvising, you're constantly making choices. And to make the right choice so that the music gets to a higher level, that's the hardest thing for them to do.